Our objective in this series is to demonstrate how we can edit data using MVC. We have already learned how to create new records. The purpose is now to edit an existing record. So most of the concepts are going to be same but uh, we'll still go through the whole process and let us see how do we do it. And one more thing, we'll be doing it in two ways. First we'll be doing entirely without without AJAX and secondly we'll be, uh, we'll be showing how to do the same thing with AJAX. Then we'll be extending this for AJAX. The same project will be extended for AJAX so that you can see the various features how they'll be done with AJAX. To start with, we already have created a database under app underscore data dborders.sdf that is the only thing which we have added first otherwise this is the same basic MVC application. So before proceeding let us uh, have a look at what are the uh, tables and columns inside this database. So go to database explorer It consists of a table called TBL orders having a primary key ID, product code, foreign key, order number, amount and there is a second table that is called TBL product space. We can have a look at the data then we'll understand it better. Show table, uh, we'll, uh, first of all you can see what are the uh, columns, various columns in case you want to create your own database. So this is TBL products base. The name of the table is TBL products base and uh, product code is the column name prod code ncare1 this is the primary key prod name nwarecare50 so this is the structure of the table called TBL products base and let us have a look at the data that is already there So it consists of these records product code L for laptop, M for mobile and S for software. So there are three types of products that are maintained by the company and orders are issued for these. And coming to TBL orders, show table data. Uh, before showing, okay, you can see the table data first. This is a running ID product code foreign key comes from the other table M S M those codes are coming here then we have an order number and then we have an order amount so we have to basically we have deliberately created a foreign key relationship so that we can see how to work with editing in these complex scenarios also and let us see the structure of this table in case you want to do it yourself so here it is the name is TBL orders this ID is identity so auto numbered prod code foreign keys ncare1 data type must match with that one in the other table order number is nwarecare100 and amount is int4 so this is our database and let us now proceed to add the entity to it. So this is our solution explorer. We'll pin it. Add a folder called entity models. Right click it. Add new item and from data we can pick adio.net entity data model and we can write mod orders and click add generate from database yes next this is the database click next 